Now let's set up some UVs for the geometry. This can be done right inside the, the existing network that we have. So we're going to dive down to the geometry level. And we want to do this work above the fuse node uh, because that way the patches are separate and they're easier to sort of lay out in a UV space. So we're going to add a UV quick shade node and that allows us to assign um, with your project you go to your textures directory go slash hip texture and the soccer ball color uh, so it comes in and it doesn't lay out very nicely on the soccer ball of course because UV quick shade does a quick projection and we need to do something a little bit better so we select the geometry and we go UV flatten and what we're going to do is we're going to type in here at patches um, is greater than 19 so this essentially gives us just the darker uh, patches and we'll be able to work with those first and then we'll, we'll focus on the other ones in a second now what that means is let's set the background to the the texture that we're working with and now we can go and get a little handle for this UV flatten that says what's the bounding area that we want to work in and we can take this and push this up into the dark area up at the top so instead of laying it out over the whole grid, uh, grid UV grid area we can focus on a certain area now we can then add another UV flatten underneath um, the first one and this time we set the display flag and we do the at patches but we then do um, is less than 20 and this will get us all of the light patches um, from the the, um, the ball so now we go in and we're going to go texture visualization off so in the 3d view we're not seeing the little grid that was displayed there we want to focus on the background texture now just like we did before we get the handle and we're going to take that top one this time and push that down to get put the patches in the lower area. Now one of the patches um, needs to go on the logo and we'd like to have it be this one so we're going to press shift click to get uh, that patch and there it is there and we can move that over and we'd like to center the patch on the soccer ball. Um, so we just zoom in a little bit you can see the soccer ball in the background there we get that perfect and then we can press Y um, or R to get um, but definitely Y to to get a rotate handle and now I can rotate that around till the the, the logo is doing what I, I need it to do then I press the re uh, repack and all the other ones sort of work around the one that we moved so this allows us a quick sort of layout of, of this uh, on this texture map now we go in and we subdivide and you can see there's the patch in the right place, the dark and the light uh, textures are in the right place and we can feed that into a null object which we're going to call geometry out and there we go so now um, this geometry is ready to be textured and rendered and there's the uh, we're going to bypass the quick shade because we don't need that we're going to do that later uh, and then we can turn off the display of UV grids there.